Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So I want to talk to you guys what I like to offer patients, specifically when they book a teeth whitening appointment. So they're, they're in with me. They've been with me for the past hour. I have whitened their teeth. Things look amazing. What do I like to offer them? <coughs> Excuse me. I just got this weird tickle in my throat. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm good now. So what do I like to offer them? So I really like to go above and beyond, meaning I like to ask them, what kind of toothpaste are you currently using? Do you like your toothpaste? What toothbrush are you using? Do you like your toothbrush? What if I've noticed they have a lot of plaque on their teeth, or maybe they could use a different toothpaste because they were talking about, I'd like my teeth to be even whiter, or my teeth are cold sensitive, or they're cavity prone, that type of thing. So I like to offer them different things. I really like these toothbrushes. So I don't buy your like dollar store basic boring toothbrushes. I spend some extra money and I get these toothbrushes. So um, oral science sell these. These are so fun because look at all the different colors. And there's so much more, by the way, like this is nothing. There's like pink, blue, purple. There's all kinds of fun ones. And look at the brush head. So they're different. They're wider. They're soft. Patients should always be using a soft toothbrush. And imagine after they have their teeth whitened, I like to give them a toothbrush. So I, I give them their nice little goodie bag. Um, let me just open it up for you guys. Ugh very gentle. They get some tissue paper in there. I will give them a toothbrush. In some cases, if I have a lot of toothbrushes, I'll even let them pick. Not just for kids, you guys. Adults like to pick their toothbrushes too, so I'll let them pick. That is me going above and beyond. Not crazy, but patients will remember me, so you guys should be doing the same thing. Give them a little goodie bag, okay? Like something fun when, let's say, they're walking down the street, or well, they're probably not. They're probably getting into their car, but they might be leaving this on their kitchen table, and then when their neighbor comes by, their friend comes by, they go, "Ooh, that's a nice goodie bag. Where'd you get that?" I like goodie bags, so when I see a fun gift bag, I'm like, ooh, where'd you get that? You know, it's advertising, right? What else I like to do is I like to give them some information. So, so this is just basically talking about how long teeth whitening lasts. Um, what else does it talk about? Is it safe? All of that stuff. So I kind of like to give them that as well, again, in their own little goodie bag. But let's say they want something else. So I always have on hand certain toothpaste. So I do have more, but these are kind of the main ones. So for example, if you have a patient that might be cavity prone, I always suggest a higher strength fluoride toothpaste with xylitol. Fluoride and xylitol work together. So xylitol is meant to limit the bacteria in the mouth so the mouth isn't as acidic. Anytime we're eating sugar, drinking coffee, soda, um, candies, our mouth becomes acidic. If our mouth is acidic, you get cavities. So I like to recommend, as I said, a xylitol and a high strength um, toothpaste that contains fluoride. You cannot get this in the store. It has to be given by a dental professional or a certified teeth whitening technician as an example. But let's say your patient tells you, well, oh, since you're talking about cavities, my six-year-old is very cavity prone. Can I give them something? I have toothpaste for kids too. So it's literally a one-stop shop. And let's say um, they prefer a fluoride free toothpaste. Some, some people do. Some people prefer a more natural, um, no fluoride toothpaste. Make sure they have a toothpaste that contains xylitol. So xylitol, no fluoride, but contains xylitol. This will help to protect against cavities as well. Again, xylitol limits the bacteria in the mouth. Whereas the fluoride does help a little bit extra, Fluoride helps to um, remineralize enamel. So any um, sensitivities, any microscopic cracks, any cavities that might be already present, but really, really small, 
Fluoride is needed to get in there and remineralize, make the enamel stronger. Xylitol doesn't make the enamel stronger, but it's more so for the overall mouth to limit the bacteria. Does that make sense? They also sell this in a mint flavor for adults. So if your adult patient says, well, I'm cavity prone, but I prefer a toothpaste without fluoride, give them this, sell this to them, one stop shop. Even if you're recommending something, a lot of patients will have the best of intentions, but then they'll go to the store, they'll get overwhelmed by the toothpaste aisle and they'll be like, Andrea recommended a toothpaste, but now I can't find it anywhere, I give up. Some of these you can't even buy in stores anyway. Like they don't sell them at Walmart. Some shoppers drug marts, they sell them, not all of them, but it's just nice to give it to them if you can. So I go above and beyond. I do suggest different mouthwashes too. Of course, I don't have any with me. Sorry, guys, I must have put them away for some weird reason. Um, but I do suggest mouthwashes too, if they're cavity prone, if they're a heavy smoker, or if they just want to use a mouthwash. They, they want that full mouth clean. And they're asking me after their lovely teeth whitening appointment, what can I do to keep things up? There are also certain teeth whitening toothpaste that I recommend as well, depending on their mouth. There are many different things. What if their teeth are really sensitive? You can suggest a Sensodyne toothpaste. Again, I purchase them so that I can give it to them too. I just don't have it in front of me, but I have lots in my closet over there that if a patient needs it, and then I sell it to them. So for $6, however much it was, I sell it to them so they don't have to go out and buy it. They will appreciate it. They can put it in their little goodie bag. It's perfect, right? Um, I do have other toothpaste too that are um, that deal with sensitivity as well, but they're more expensive because they're like a dental professional grade toothpaste. So if Sensodyne doesn't work for them, then I take it a step further and say, well, what about this one, which I have as well, but of course it's in my closet. But you get the idea. Take it a step further. If you are a teeth whitening technician, if you're a dental professional, take it a step further, do some research and offer them fun, exciting toothbrushes, not boring dollar store ones. Offer them, you know, different toothpaste, different oral products that they can purchase if they want them. You know, it's setting yourself apart and it's doing the best for your patients. You know, your patient will feel so good that you have the expertise and the confidence to recommend them something. There's nothing worse than, you know, going to your dental professional and saying, well, what toothpaste would you recommend? And then they say to you, I don't know, just buy whatever's on sale. That's no fun, right? No, do your research, help them out and their oral health, their mouth, their teeth will be fantastic because of you. So and they'll be happy, right? Who doesn't want nice teeth? Who doesn't want a healthy mouth? Nobody, everybody does, you know? So there you go. Last but not least, I like to also, after somebody has teeth whitening, oh, matches my shirt. After somebody has teeth whitening with me, I recommend, these are the same thing, just this one has a nice bow on it. I recommend a take home kit so they can boost their results at home. It's like, I use this analogy a lot, but when you get your hair done and colored, I have my appointment on Thursday, you guys can tell. I need it, right? You can tell. Anyways, so I recommend a take-home kit because this will help to boost their results at home. What does the kit include? It includes everything they need. So it includes a shade guide. It includes an instruction manual. It includes a reusable LED light tray with a charger. It includes two whitening syringes, I'm sorry, two whitening pens that they can use at home and a pre-treatment spray to brush with. I suggest this. I suggest if they really want to maintain their perfectly beautiful white smile, use this maybe every, every couple weeks, once a month for 15 minutes, good to go. If they have a wedding coming up, a special event, use this for three days, 15 minutes, then that will, will really boost things. It depends on their current shade. If their shade's here and they want to go here, I'm going to tell them to use it more often for two weeks, that kind of thing. You get the idea. So it really depends. But I do offer this kit as well. 
So when somebody comes to me, professional teeth whitening is $200. If they want the kit as well, then that would be an extra $100. So $300 in total. With the kit, I, nor I normally sell them at $125. So they're getting a discount if they get both. And it just, it keeps their teeth whiter, brighter for longer, and it maintains things. Who doesn't like maintenance? I use the same kit, you guys, and my teeth are pretty white. I like to think so anyway. Plus, they make great gifts, right? Great gifts. Who doesn't want a teeth whitening kit that actually works? A little secret, don't buy any kit from the store because they typically won't work very well. Get your teeth whitening kit from a dental professional because we buy our kits from dental supply companies that are made for your teeth. Get the proper kits, you guys. It's worth every penny to do so. And then I put it in a nice little goodie bag. It's the perfect size. Patients love it and they want to come back and they recommend me to everybody because that's what they want. So thank you guys so much for listening. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.